हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन दिस इज आवर सिक्स एंड लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी लर्न डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड इन डिफरेंट एनिमल्स एंड एन स्टेप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन अमीबा लेट्स सी मोर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ होलोजाइक न्यूट्रिशन होलोजोइक न्यूट्रिशन इन यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक अमीबा यूगलेना पैरामेशियम ऑल द प्रोसेस ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन ऑकर्स इन द सेम सेल वी ऑलरेडी सीन इन द लास्ट वीडियो इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड इन सम इंसेक्ट्स दिस इज द स्क्रूटिनी नेम ऑफ इंसेक्ट पार्ट ऑफ इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड विच पार्ट दे यूज फॉर द इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड लेट सी कॉक्रोच एंड ग्रास ओपर जॉ लाइक माउथ पार्ट मॉस्किटोज एंड बेड बग्स नीडल लाइक माउथ पार्ट एंड बटरफ्लाइज यूज ट्यूब लाइक प्रोबोसिस फॉर इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड लेट सी इन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स इंसेक्ट्स हैव माउथ पार्ट्स फॉर इंजेक्शन ऑफ फूड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंसेक्ट्स लाइक द कॉकरोच एंड ग्रास ओपर विच नीबल हैव जॉ लाइक माउथ पार्ट्स बटरफ्लाइज सक फूड विद अ ट्यूब लाइक प्रोबोसिस Mosquitoes and bed bugs use a needle-like mouth part to pierce and tube-like mouth part to suck blood or other type of other types of fluids. How will you classify the following animals according to their food type? Let's see in uh, short. First of all, in short, classification of animals on the basis of their eating habits. first type is herbivores what they eat animals that eat plants for example cow goat sheep etc second type is carnivores carnivores animals that eat other animals for example lion tiger lizard etc third type is omnivores these omnivores animals that eat plant as well as other animals for example dog humans etc fourth type is parasites parasitic animals that get their food by living inside or outside of the body of other animals or other living organisms for example lice tapeworm etc and the last part is scavengers these animals which feed on the dead bodies of animals for example vulture jackal etc according to the type of food animals can be classified as first one is herbivores see in details herbivores use plants directly as their food examples are grazing animals frugivores fruit eaters granivores seed eaters all these are herbivores animals let's see the next type carnivores animals animals that depend on other animals for their food are carnivores carnivores are indirectly dependent on plants for food examples are animals that feed on herbivores are called predators like tiger lion animals that feed on insects are called insectivores the anteater this in the picture which i was shown the anteater is found in central and south america the bobcat or wood manzer also it is called is an ant eating animals found in india we can obtain the picture from internet third type is omnivores animals that obtain their food from both plants and animals are called omnivores examples are monkey chimpanzee human etc some of the organisms around us perform the function of cleaning and conserving the environment by the very act of feeding themselves they are called scavengers and decomposers these are this is also called these animals also called cleaning agent because they clean the earth scavengers 
obtain their food from dead bodies of animals for example vulture crow hyena etc decomposers decomposers are some microbes which obtain their food by decomposing the dead bodies of organisms or other materials now next nutrition is saprozoic nutrition we already seen the holozoic nutrition now this saprozoic nutrition means some insects unicellular animals etc obtain the nutrients by absorbing the liquid organic material from the dead bodies of other animals or from the environment this is saprozoic nutrition examples are house flies ants spider etc parasitic nutrition have you seen small animals on the bodies of animals like dogs and buffaloes which are those small animals from where do these little animals obtain their food from where do the worms in the intestine obtain their food let's see some animals depend upon other animals for food they can obtain the food only from animals on whom they are dependent this is called parasitic nutrition some animals live on the body surface of other animals and obtain their food by sucking their blood this is called ectoparasitic nutrition and such animals are called ectoparasites for example louse bed bug tick etc animals like tapeworm and roundworms live inside the body of other animals and obtain their food this is endoparasitic nutrition and these animals these animals are known as endoparasites let's see the uh, this type of parasitic nutrition we can understand with the help of uh, distinguish between because with the help of difference we can understand very easily ectoparasitic nutrition and endoparasitic nutrition ectoparasites means animals live on the body surface of other animals and obtain food by sucking their blood example louse tick and bed bugs these animals living on the surface of the other animals body and obtain food by sucking their blood so it is called ectoparasitic nutrition and these animals are called ectoparasites endoparasitic nutrition means animals live inside the body of other animals and consume ready made digested food from the host examples are tapeworm and roundworm these animals are living inside the body of other animals and taking the food so it is called endoparasitic animals or endoparasites and this type of nutrition is called endoparasitic nutrition i hope all of you understood whatever i tried to teach you all this is the end part of the lesson thank you